guys my name is Kenyatta welcome to my channel welcome if you have not already make sure you take the time to subscribe to my channel so I am two weeks postpartum and I really wanted to put some um, you know pregnancy uh, mother related like videos on my channel I really wanted to film them while I was pregnant so I could be like in the moment but you girl between the energy and like trying to still film like hair related videos there was just like no energy left for pregnancy content but now as you can see like I have a protective hairstyle so really can't be like you know filming reviews and hair tutorials and stuff like that so here we are we're gonna I'm gonna start filming some of the pregnancy content I have like my journal that I have been like taking notes in um, just kind of keeping up with stuff from my pregnancy so that you know I'm not completely like scatterbrained trying to remember everything from nine months ago but I did like write things down and plus I didn't want to like miss this opportunity because I didn't have a YouTube channel when um, I was pregnant with Jeremiah so I didn't want to like not film again with Jeremy so I'm like we doing this whether it's right now during pregnancy or after so here we are postpartum and I have like a whole list of pregnancy related videos that I have been you know like keeping notes on wanting to film for you guys I'm going to create a playlist so that all the pregnancy related content is all together easy to find um as you can tell from the title this video is a comparison um between the two pregnancies between my firstborn Jeremiah and now you know newly arrived Jeremy so if you know interested to know like what I dealt with with my first pregnancy versus my second pregnancy then just keep watching so like I said I got my notes where I just kind of have a guideline of like what I want to talk about in the video because I don't want to be like all over the place hold on guys all these little notes and everything I should have had it like already <laughs> ready where did I talk about this okay so the things I want to touch up touch on on the video so the first thing we're just going to talk about is um how did you find out so with jeremiah i actually found out after we came back from a trip so this is july 2017 um we always take like a trip for jermaine's birthday because his birthday's in july um shortly after that trip i found out that i was pregnant um, literally, I think I got pregnant the weekend of 4th of July. So, <laughs> um, went on the beach, had no idea, all this other stuff. When I came back, I had missed my period and that's like red flag number one. But I guess I was somewhat like in denial because it's like, I still was like waiting for this. I think I waited like two weeks, you know, like Jermaine already had a feeling before I missed my period when I missed my period was kind of like a red flag but because I'm not someone I have a period every month it may not be the same time it's always like the ending or the beginning of the month so when you know July had came and went I was like what's going on but I still just was kind of like I said in shock didn't want to believe it so it was about two weeks before I took a pregnancy test and then even after the two pregnancy tests I still followed up with the doctor <laughs> to make sure so that's how I found out with Jeremiah um, with Jeremy um, I got pregnant end of August early September same kind of thing it's like not much of a difference uh, it literally was the missing of my period that was like oh, something's not right but this one didn't take me as long I missed my period I took the test like two days later it wasn't all this like oh am I pregnant am I not girl you missed your period we've been here before so <laughs> I took the test and felt that I was pregnant like the timeline of these two pregnancies was very like together like like I said I was I found that I was pregnant started a pregnancy with uh, Jeremiah in July and then with Jeremy end of August early September that's why their birthdays are basically like a month and a few weeks apart so you know that's how I found out um the next thing I wanted to talk about is like when and like how I told um like my family friends like social media and different stuff like that so for Jeremiah like with my first pregnancy I think like other mothers can relate to how scared you are and I feel like that doesn't even go away with the second pregnancy because I was still scared about losing your baby I don't know like why your mind goes there but I think 
just immediately the doctors kind of let you know that the the risk of a miscarriage is very high in the first trimester they even tell you not to really like tell who you feel like you need to tell but you know don't make this whole they can't tell you what to do obviously I mean you six weeks you want to scream into the world you can but I'm a very like private conservative person so I mean that's all I needed I wasn't going to go saying a whole lot anyway but that's all I needed to hear was that there's this risk of you know um miscarriage and losing your baby and then just that you're already grieving and now you have to kind of inform all these people that you told that you're no longer pregnant and you miscarried so to kind of prevent you from all that like you you know you can grieve in private basically is what the doctors are saying if heaven forbid you lose your baby you know and it's not even just first trimester it's just the highest possibility of a miscarriage is in that first trimester you can lose your baby like you know at any point you know which is kind of sad but so for Jeremiah first pregnancy we didn't want to tell anybody right away um honestly I told I don't know I didn't tell like a lot of people but I did eventually kind of make an announcement to closest friends sorority sisters and things like that in November and then I made like a social media post because me and my sister Mikhail was pregnant at the same time so we had like stuff planned as far as photo shoots and different things like that we did like two of them and you know just to kind of celebrate and remember like hey you know we were pregnant like together pregnancy sisters or whatever so we definitely um made the announcement it was like a happy new year's kind of thing so it was like it was january 1st if not december 31st whatever but it was new year's kind of announcement and then with um jeremy it was pretty much the same thing um just wait until after that trimester i mean tell in like a select few and things like that and then after like i don't even why is it that like with <laughs> With Jeremy, I feel like everything is escaping me and it just happened. Like we made, we were a little quicker about Jeremy, but I really, no, I think it evens out because no, we were a little quicker because we made our announcement to like family and friends a little earlier, but like social media and all that, we made it December. So it was like a Merry Christmas kind of announcement, but definitely, you know, well into the second trimester before making that announcement. Like I said, just to kind of protect your sanity and your mental, you know, before running around telling everybody. I know like with, um, it's kind of crazy that I don't know, like, you know, if you want to talk about like, if was it awkward for you when you try to make your announcement like how was it did you feel like you were obligated to as soon as you got pregnant let the world know or were you more like this is my body this is my pregnancy and I'm gonna talk about it when I want to because for whatever reason like it just be feeling like if you when you do get pregnant and things like that I don't know what it is but it feels like everybody's I don't know feeling entitled to know this information as soon as you know it and then if you don't it's almost like you're being secretive or like things like this like I don't know but that's like I didn't really deal with that with Jeremy but I definitely dealt with that with Jeremiah like people feeling some kind of way no, excuse me people feeling some kind of way and also kind of making it like I was being secretive and I was like a hundred months pregnant and still hadn't said anything to anybody and the thing is like even if I was it's kind of like this is my decision this is my body like who's carrying this baby me or you so it was just kind of like weird that that was like the response she was kind of getting it was kind of taking that moment away you know what I mean when you're trying to not build it up but if you are keeping something like this and when you're ready to make that announcement you want it to feel special you don't want to have it like this asterisk next to it like people was already digging and investigating you know talking about you behind your back and all this other stuff about something that is so gentle and so fragile that it's like that shouldn't be the energy like when somebody is respect their privacy respect their decision respect their body and understand that if they won't want to talk about it or they won't want to announce it they're not entitled to they can go their whole pregnancy if they want to and not say a word and pop out with a baby like here i am it's i don't know it's just weird <laughs> you know comment down below if you've ever dealt with that but you know people get a little weird when it comes to like pregnancy and pregnancy announcements when you should say it who you should be telling how you should say it it's, it gets real weird <laughs> it's giving very much weird when it comes to like 
talking about your pregnancy and I don't know what that is but like I said it was definitely with my first pregnancy with Jeremiah not so much with Jeremy because maybe at this point there was like okay this is just how she you know does it like it's the same thing I'm gonna wait to after that first trimester get through that scary part like I said it's not completely over there's always a risk of miscarriage but at least the numbers aren't so high after that third month you know so next thing is gender reveal you know how gender reveals are such a big thing like you know with pregnancy so with jeremiah we made a decision that we didn't want to know <laughs> we didn't want to know what the gender was it gave it a sense of like surprise um and also it helped me push if that makes sense like yes you're gonna do it regardless and even if you know the gender you're still meeting this person that you've been growing for 10 months so it's kind of like it's gonna be you know surprise you're gonna be happy to push and all that anyway but it gave it an extra incentive like i don't even know what i'm having i don't even know what i'm about to push out you know so that gave us something i mean it drove everybody crazy though <laughs> like legit like especially with the baby shower and things like that people just was like i don't know what to get like how do we know what colors da, da, da. there's so much gender neutral stuff like if you go to the baby section, everything now isn't just pink and blue. Like there's browns, there's greens, there's yellows, there's different colors. And that's pretty much what we had going on when we did get all our stuff from the baby shower. But it drove people nuts. Like not, I mean, it seemed like it was more so like driving them insane to ask us about it. Like I felt like certain people, every doctor's appointment. So did you figure out the gender? Did you ask them about the gender? We don't want to know the gender. Okay. <laughs> we're just gonna wait I mean we had a boy it was super exciting either way um with Jeremy I feel like Jermaine was gonna go with whatever I decided but early on I told him once we figured, once we found out I was pregnant not shortly after I kind of was like okay I want to know you know I want to know and I think it was because we already had a child we already had a son and I just kind of wanted to know if it was a girl or boy because the mindset was gonna be different like if it was a girl to me it was like starting from scratch like we have we kept a lot of stuff from um jeremiah you know a lot of stuff in the garage you know kind of towed it up stored for you know the next child so i was like if it's a boy it's almost like not that we can relax but just like you know whatever people want to give whatever we want to get it's just going to be kind of extra compared to like the first pregnancy where you're buying everything because you don't have stuff laying around if you don't already have a child so with the girl it was going to feel like starting over and i didn't want to like because i wasn't planning on having this huge like not that jeremiah's was a huge baby shower but we definitely had a baby shower you know friends and family from all over coming this one i wanted something a little more low-key so i'm like if that's the case and it's a girl then i want to know so that i can tell people for the baby sprinkle so we can do her up with her pinks and purples and whatever so definitely still neither one of these were um gender reveals but the difference between the two is that one of them we didn't want to know and this one i was like yes i want to know if it's a girl or boy this time and just to like kind of talk about jeremy's um ultrasound where they like well not where i found out but basically where like they found out what it was so this girl obviously was and i think she told me that she was like not new but like you know what i mean like still kind of like in training because when that was like one of the first things she's asked during my ultrasound was like do we already know because by the time i had an ultrasound guys which is really weird i've had heard so many stories people be like six to eight weeks and already have ultrasound i don't know what it is but both my pregnancies i had I was well into like 20, 23 weeks and I'm just now getting ultrasound. So, I, t you know, so she asked like, oh, do we already know what baby is and stuff like that? Because I mean, at 20 weeks, like you should, you know what I mean? You can know the gender. I forgot at what weeks you can know the gender, but you know, she was just trying to ask and I was like, no, I mean, we want to know, but we want to know together because with COVID, like Jermaine just couldn't attend anything. So I didn't want to find out during the ultrasound and then like have him figure out later. So, sorry guys, this contact is like doing the most. But um, I wanted us to still feel like we were filling out together, filling out, <laughs> finding out together. Like at that time in the, if he was able to be in an ultrasound appointment with me, we would have just been like, yeah, we want to know. I was like, yeah, uh, Jermaine would like to know. So can you just um, seal it up, put it in an envelope and we're gonna like open it together later. 
Well, like I said, she mentioned that she was new. And the moment I said that I didn't want to know the gender, she really didn't talk to me. Guys, this ultrasound was like 40 minutes of her not saying a word. I think it was like 25, 30 minutes in and I was kind of like, is everything okay? Because I couldn't remember from Jeremiah, like was the ultrasound this long? Like it felt like it was taking forever. So it was starting to make me think body parts were missing, something was going on, you know, just overly thinking about stuff. It's the first, this is the first ultrasound. We are already at 20 something weeks. I mean, what if something's growing wrong and she hasn't said a word. So I, I thought maybe she was trying to figure out how to tell me some crazy information. So she's like, oh yeah, everything's fine. He, he just won't turn over like she was trying to get at something with his spine but you know babies we can't move them so when they're in uh you know in the uterus so she said he and then she tried to correct herself and was like oh because sometimes they do associate whether it's boy or girl with he so she was trying to make it like oh i, I haven't even got to the part where i figure out the gender i just naturally say that which i, I could understand but then like I said, she was struggling. So she had me go use the restroom in hopes that he would move. So reposition or something, he didn't. So she ended up having to call like somebody else in there. And when the lady asked, like she was telling her what to do. Like she wasn't pressing hard enough for something and she needed to like rotate it to get the picture. And then she was like, is this all you got to do? She was like, yeah. Mind you, she said she hadn't got to the gender yet. So that's when I caught her. Like, you know, it's like she was just messing up all around. Like she was talking to her, but obviously I'm listening. I don't know if she remembered when she said to me that she hadn't got to the gender. So after the lady left, she tried to play it off. Like, okay, just close your eyes. I'm about to look to see what the gender is and put it in the envelope. No, I'm good as well. She already knew it was a boy. So before I walked out of there, I knew, like, even though she said that, oh, I always associate the unborn baby with he as, you know, whatever, I knew it was a boy. So when we got outside, opened the envelope, you know that's what it said and I was like I knew it <laughs> because she messed it up and I told Jermaine the situation so that was how I figured it out like I said neither one of these I had a gender reveal I mean with the baby showers and the, ba the baby sprinkles it just be feeling like a gender reveal is like just it's a lot you know so yeah I was like people just don't be doing right and like I said she tried to play it off but girl it's okay it's okay <laughs> like I said now if this was with the other lady who did the ultrasound for Jeremiah, she was really good. She just kept saying baby. She never said he or she. So could you imagine if this was like if she was the one doing ultrasound, if she was the one doing ultrasound for Jeremiah and she said he and we didn't want to know the gender at all. Talk about piss. I was 23 weeks like I would have had to keep that secret from Jermaine. But all the while half the pregnancy, I would have been already knowing that I was having a boy because she done messed up. Like I end up like part of me knew I was having a boy with the first pregnancy. I never said it out loud, but I knew because of I changed. I don't know why I didn't so much with Jeremy, even though I was having a boy. But Jeremiah, like guys, I was so into sports. Like if you know me, I don't like what <laughs> I don't like to the point where I think I was watching it more than Jermaine was like I was in school and stuff and I would get out of school I would be like who's playing da, 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 da. I would be up super late like just watching you know sports center and different things like this watching games that I had already you know because sometimes they're like recorded and you can watch them again later if you missed it I'm like watching it again after I already saw it I mean your girl was obsessed you know I downloaded the app I was like wanting to get notifications for everything I would never do that so I never said it out loud but I was like this behavior shift is given very much boy you know <laughs> where is the interest in sports unless I was having like a little girl who was about to be like a hoop star or something like it was very very like sports heavy basketball in particular I didn't really care about football or anything like that but basketball games and sports center like I was stalking the app trying to figure out who was playing when they was playing we had um in North Carolina we had NBA TV or something like whatever it was where it's just like the NBA channel so I was <laughs> the girl was obsessed so I kind of already knew I was having a boy but I just didn't want to speak it out loud okay so the next thing like I'm gonna break up like after this the content is gonna be like updates for my first second and third trimester for Jeremy but like just to kind of touch a little bit on like when I'm talking about like symptoms as far as like what I experienced a little bit with Jeremy versus Jeremiah 
Um, I think just the main thing was the difference in fatigue and nausea. That's like the big one I wanted to talk about because I don't know, you hear people talk about like basically like when you're carrying a girl versus a boy like they always make it seem like with boys you get very sick like it's almost a giveaway that like if you're dealing with a lot of nausea dealing with a lot of like just ugh, that you're probably having a boy but i didn't really like with jeremy it was very different like with jeremiah i was very sick the entire pregnancy they didn't get the nausea under control until i was 39 weeks it was like 38, 39 weeks. I mean, we was almost ready to push. And they finally got the regimen together, the medication that could keep food down. Could you imagine going 40 weeks, not being able to eat anything? So obviously, with pregnancy, you already fatigue. You already don't have any energy. So now I can't even give my body fuel because Jeremiah don't like anything. So with Jeremy, it it like bounced up and down. Like I said, with Jeremiah, it was the entire pregnancy. With Jeremy, it was like... The first trimester, there was definitely nausea, you know, I was dealing with a lot of it in the morning and then that was pretty much it. Second trimester came with a vengeance, with the doctor did not understand because it's normally first trimester and then second trimester you can breathe. No. First trimester was like, obviously you're pregnant so there's going to be a little bit of, a little bit of nausea, but it was tolerable you know and then second trimester like we had a that's when I was talking to the doctor like we got to get some medication because I'm not keeping anything down so now it was very much like Jeremiah so it was like the then like it didn't take long for them to get it together this time though and part of that was because Jermaine was like you really need to because um, at first it was almost like she was following the same and maybe they got a list of like protocol on how to treat the nausea during pregnancy because literally like the regimen she was starting with was pretty much the same thing that they did with Jeremiah and Jermaine was like we've seen this before you need to tell them that medication that they gave you at the end of that pregnancy we don't have time you know because he gets very like papa bear um when we're dealing with like me being sick and different things like that I mean nobody wants to watch somebody throwing up all the time so he was like no we need to get to that medication that they gave you at the end of Jeremiah's pregnancy so that we're not dealing with this for weeks so I told them I had to look through my charts to figure out what that medication was called because of course I didn't remember that was like three years ago so uh they gave me that and we was good and then it was gone like after the medication and stuff and then it got to the point where I wasn't even taking it anymore I didn't need it because I just wasn't dealing with any kind of nausea so two boys but definitely different fatigue energy levels and vomiting and all that other stuff my energy was way better with Jeremy like Jeremy was like a soldier in there or something because there was definitely like the energy was there like I was definitely still tired I was you know but I was still kind of being able to move like I said with Jeremiah no no it took everything I had to shower let alone like do anything else where with Jeremy there was room for a little this and that you know I was still kind of active nothing too crazy because it was still there were still good days and bad days but with Jeremiah every day was a bad day <laughs> like if I had a good day like we was going to go get ice cream we was trying to take walks because we didn't know when another day like that would you know present itself so it like it's just basically saying that even if you have like two pregnancies of the same gender doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna be the same pregnancy every baby's different so it definitely was not the same <laughs> okay so we just got like two more things to touch on the other thing I wanted to talk about was like the working situation if you've been following um any of my videos you know subscribe to my channel then you know there has been a whole hot mess with like my maternity leave and stuff like that so it goes to say like with uh jeremy i was trying to work but it did get to the point where i just couldn't do it and with jeremiah i wasn't even employed you know but if i was it definitely would have been the same thing but earlier it would i wouldn't even have made it to the three four months like i did with jeremy it would have been right out the gate because like I said, the nausea was so bad. I couldn't keep anything down. I was too exhausted. Could you imagine? Like, and like I said, I worked retail. So there was just no way. So there was definitely a difference there where it ended up being the same result where I wasn't working. But it would be nice to be able to like be pregnant and get to still enjoy your place of work and still kind of, you know, and big ups and, you know, you know, good job for all the mothers out there who can, you know, be pregnant and still hold down their job because <laughs> I could not do it but it's just that's amazing if you're one of those mothers who was pregnant and you were still out there getting it because your girl was struggling so the only other thing I want to talk about was like um I definitely 
was pregnant in two different states like with Jeremiah I was pregnant in Winston-Salem North Carolina and then here with Jeremy in Indianapolis Indiana so it was kind of tricky for the doctors because they would always try to refer back to my like charts and stuff because they always ask you that like when you're pregnant is this baby number one or you know they just kind of want to get a feel for like where you're at with it are you a new mother or we've been here three four times like what is it so trying to get like my information and stuff like I said I had to pull up my own information for my medications that I took because it's a whole nother state they don't have access to anything so it was definitely differences between like the care I got in North Carolina versus the care I got here none of it was bad everybody was I didn't have any horror stories or anything when it came like that to my medical care to um when it came to my medical care but it definitely was you know just different experiences based on like the hospitals and how they do everything as far as like when you do give birth and all that other stuff so i just kind of wanted to talk about like you know the differences like i said i didn't get the opportunity to really talk about um jeremiah's pregnancy or anything that i dealt with when i was pregnant with him so i just wanted a video where we like compared and kind of chat about the two um definitely stay tuned like i said i'm going to be filming much more content about the pregnancy um so you know make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of that content um okay um, okay guys i'm back so i forgot i'm got my lid glasses on because I was like about to take everything off and I realized I forgot to mention like okay so there was a difference between um like when they came like Jeremiah was due April 4th and he came April 1st so his was only like a three-day difference but Jeremy was 11 days early he was supposed to come May 22nd he came May 11th so definitely a big difference between like due dates and like do they go to term? You know, he was 38 weeks, three days for Jeremy. And obviously, Jeremiah was almost 40 weeks. So um, that was something that I was like, yeah, let's mention that as well as um, Jeremy was eight pounds, 10 ounces. And Jeremiah was only six pounds, seven ounces. So it was definitely like, oh, the difference between, you know, Jeremy was significantly, not significantly, but Jeremy was definitely a bigger baby than um Jeremiah was I pushed both of those I pushed both of my sons out naturally with like no medication or anything like that so that was the same process both ways but I'm like just like I said I'm going to give a whole labor story video for um Jeremy but just to kind of touch on that because there was definitely differences between both of them I was like I don't forget to mention that so that's why I try to write everything down I didn't write that down we about to take a walk and I'm like wait a minute <laughs> you know before I get too comfortable and looking crazy because I'm getting ready for bed let me go ahead and add this in there so there's that I feel like there was something else I was going to mention oh yeah like I plan to talk about my labor story and everything like that. So like I said, just stay tuned. Um, I'm going to go ahead and conclude the video here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not already, subscribe to my channel. Uh, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and film, film the content anyway. But if you want to see more pregnancy videos and interested in hearing about my journey, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.